All right, Dominic here with Dom's Repair and Fabrication. Getting back to this 850 that I had had sitting here, I put new crank bearings and new rods and pistons in it and had the cylinders redone. It had thrown me through a loop. It was out of time after I'd put it back together and was just making this video for a tip of advice for everyone that does that tries this on their own. So here's your tensioner. Here are your timing marks and the keyway, or the in this case, it's just got a set pin that holds the cam gear in place. And a lot of times working on all kinds of different stuff, I find it hard to find the right videos or finding information without buying it from a dealership where timing mark is. Here's your top dead center. And this line right here, oops, here we go. Top dead center mark before top center. And this line where the case splits is the mark on for your crankshaft. Well, I had put it together and it was like 45 degrees out of time. Something I don't know that I took into consideration. It was like six, eight months ago, the last time I worked on this. So it's, I don't exactly remember what I had done that day. And I was in a, probably was in a hurry, but. So I learned that if, when you're setting the timing on this, that the, when you set this mark, you actually want it to be down over here. Cause then when you push your timing chain in, it'll bring it back around so that both your marks line up because this tensioner has an, I would say it's price, it's a fair amount of force in the spring loaded. It's a hydraulic tensioner, but it's also spring loaded. Well, so if you push your finger in there and that'll kind of, you can judge by where it is and then you're gonna have to have a wrench or a pair of pliers. This is a 32 millimeter um, hex head that is on the camshaft or 30 millimeter. Um, and then when you're done with that, then you can go and set your valve lash, which, so it found a lot of different videos. None of them were very good on an 850 on how to set your valve lash. So in another video I will make here in just a few minutes, I will show you how to set the valve lash on one of these.